Yo, 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 what's happening my peoples, yo? African Cichlids here, man. Yo, just here with another video, man. Um, yeah. So, basically, um, I'm here with a new video. Um, today we're just going to talk about how setting up uh, a new Malawi Cichlids tank. So, basically, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. It's not rocket science. Um, anybody can do it. <laughs> Yeah, so basically, get yourself a new tank, yeah, so you got yourself a new tank and you're rare and you want to put your cichlids in, you're going to have to give it at least one and a half to two weeks before you can enter your new fish. Um, there's a rough way to go about it, so basically, your temperature, you need to know everything, what, 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 what you need to, you know, have your tank running for your fish. So... Your temperature needs to be around 25 to 26 degrees. 25 something is a good number, you know what I mean? So 25 to 26 degrees. Um, you get your tank, you fill it up with water, you buy a filter. Um, you buy a filter, internal, external, whatever tickles your fancy, you know what I mean? And whatever um, fits your budget, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, so... You get your filter, you've added your water, um, your heater, your heater needs to be around 25 to 26 degrees. Um, and basically, you also need an internal thermometer. Don't use the external ones. The external ones are just a waste of money. They only read the outside of the tank, really. Um, internal thermometer you need because... Your heater power um, is dependent on what tank size you've got. So if you've got a small tank, you know, a 50 watt heater, 100 watt heater, 150 watt heater might do it. As soon as you go into tanks like 4 foot plus, you need a 200, 250, 300, maybe 500 watt heater. Um, so yeah, so to don't just go on the dial. Um, you, you, you've got a dial on the... Um, heaters um, and you twist them round yeah, some people just think yeah I'll go on 26 put it in my tank yeah that should be fine and they've got a small tank with an extra powerful heater which is overheating that tank the only way you can double check that is with your internal thermometer to make to, to check your correct temperature of the tank so make sure you use your internal thermometer make sure you use one um, so you've got your heater, you've got your water in the tank, and you've got your filter running. So now you need to check your water. Um, you need to check the pH of your water. Um, so the pH, um, I'm lucky, my pH comes around 7.7. .7. Um, for African cichlids, an average pH would be around 7.5. Um, to 8.3, 8.4. Um, the best pH is a pH which you can keep stable. You don't, they don't like a fluctuating pH either. So you don't want to be putting additives and 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 your, your pH is just keep jumping up and down every day. You don't want that either. You just want a pH that is stable. Like I said, mine is 7.7 .7 out of the top. I'm lucky. So I just bang my water in, I got no problems. I don't need to check the pH. Well, I do check the pH. You always need to check your pH. Every time you add water into your tank, you always need to check your pH. You can buy test strips to check your pH. And you can buy a digital thermometer to check your pH. It's like a digital meter. Um, so you can buy that also um, to check your, check your pH. Um, so you need to have a correct pH. You need to have a correct temperature of 25 to 26 degrees. Um, you need a good filter, a decent filter. Um, yeah, and you need to be adding prime. Um, a prime is a dechlorinator which takes the chlorine out of the tap water, which makes the tap water safe for fish. So basically, I've used many um, products, I've used many dechlorinators, but I've checked and double checked. Prime is probably the best one. For an average everyday fish keeper, you know what I'm saying, yeah. So, prime, prime is a good thing um, for 
setting up when you've got adding new fish or for setting up a new tank that's fine to use. Um, I use it myself. Um, I've listed it down below. So if anybody needs to buy it, um, just click down below. It'll take you straight to the link. Um, just buy it if you need it or want to check it out. Do you know what I'm saying? So yeah, so you've got your priming. You've got your filter running. You've got your tank temperature at 25 to 26 degrees. You've checked your pH. That's fine. You need to leave your tank running out for at least on average five to seven days. Just leave your tank running. Leave it running for at least five to seven days. After about five to seven days, um, you're ready to add some fish. So you don't want to just jump into the gun and just start buying loads of fish um, and then put them in and then next morning you wake up and they're all dead, you know what I'm saying? So you don't want to do that. So basically you want to, what you want to do is you want to go and buy around two fish um, I'd say small size, about one or two inch. Um, put them in your tank and um, basically, um, you know, um, just see see how to get on. Give them at least four four or five days, I'd say. Give them at least four or five days um, and see how to get on. Um, so you've given them fish about four to five days. If they seem all right, you know what I mean. They seem like there's no problem or anything. And what you need to do is you're ready man you know what i mean you don't need to do nothing you just need to do do go out there and buy some fish so basically um go out and buy some fish my advice would always be buy smaller fish you know um big fish i mean yeah i mean <clears throat> if you want to buy all big fish you can buy loads of big fish and put them all in not a problem um but you know I've always had experiences and bad experience with larger fish, um, especially if I've bought them large from outside. Um, I've always had a better fish keeping experience, I'd say, um, is when I've put smaller fish in, grown them on, let them grow to a large size, and they seem to tolerate each other more, they seem to get on with each other more, they seem to respect each other more. So. <clears throat> Basically, I would always say buy smaller fish and then add them to your new tank all together at the same size um, and you need to be adding them together. So, to, to, to get the peaceful tank, do you know what I mean, which everybody is always looking for. Um, if you look at my tank, I, I have very rarely um, anybody fighting. It's because, because I use this method. Um, I have any of my tanks, you know, I've got quite a few tanks. And <clears throat> I believe me, I never have a, really ever have a death or ever have any fights. So, and, and I believe it's to the method I use is using smaller fish um, and growing them on. Uh, I've always, I've tried buying loads of big fish. I've spent thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds, don't get me wrong, um, buying larger fish and trying this out and trying that out and trying. It's all been a waste of money, do you know what I'm saying? Um, so I know you're always best set up your tank go and buy loads of small fish, buy them all at the same size, roughly at the same time, um, and just bang them in. Bang them in your tank, um, and you know, just watch them grow. Um, yeah, so that's my take um, on setting up a new African cichlid tank. Um, to anybody who's interested in setting up a new African cichlid tank, that's my take from here, African cichlids. Same again, I wanna say, Thanks all my subscribers. Thanks for everybody that's watching. Um, yeah, so I've listed some products down below. Um, things that people need, general fish keeping stuff. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, check them out if you need them, buy them. You know how it is. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I thought we'd take a closer look at some of my fish today because obviously because the camera is like far back out, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and I got extra heavy lighting on around me, you know what I mean? So you can't really see the fish, you know, deeply and all the colours and close up and stuff, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, let's take a closer look at some of my fish, yeah? So yeah, yeah, so that's one of my sunshine peacocks coming on there.
So you can see it there, my, one of my sunshine peacocks. Got one of my hybrids there. That's actually a Venustus hybrid. Venustus and Polystigma, but it looks more like a Polystigma. There's my blue dolphin over there. Another looking like a sunshine maybe. Yeah. <clears throat> Another fish there. That looks like some hybrid. That looks like a sunshine peacock there. So we've got the Taiwan reef here. Looking good. I like my Taiwans. I always have loads of them. Red shoulder peacock. That's pure red shoulder peacock there. Nice fish there, man. Look at him just standing there for the camera, man. My fish are like that, they show off fishes, man. That just stand in front of the camera. I don't kind of have to chase them around. A lot of people have to chase their fish around, but I kind of don't. Look, he's just start sitting there showing off. <laughs> Here's my sunset fire fishes. can see a lot of them getting the blue faces in but can't exactly tell what they are until they get a bit more colouring but yeah these are all looking good slowly getting the colours in looking happy looking healthy Yeah, this one's looking good. It's another peacock. I'm not gonna exactly name them all now because, you know, they're still coloring up. So I don't wanna be wrong. Yeah. So thanks again, peeps. Thanks again. Do you know what I mean? For people watching, all the people commenting, all the people giving likes. Do you know what it is? Keep liking, keep subscribing. Peace out.